Hey YouTube family, it's Katie, and I decided to join in on the fun. Um, I'm being a little bit of a silly goose here because I think that Naked November equals weight loss surgery patients on YouTube are crazy. You guys are crazy, but I am too. So, um, and who doesn't like to be naked? Hello. In college, I was part of the mermaid club. It combines water and nakedness. Go figure. Um, the things I wanted to talk to you about today are the first one is a little update on me and my surgery process. And the second thing that I'd like to do is a little 10 point things I'm not going to miss about being super morbidly obese. So my surgery um, has been switched to Swedish hospital. It's a personal thing. Um, nothing against anything in Mexico. I would have had it there in a heartbeat, but my parents were not, um, I don't know how to say it, but anyway, I just switched hospitals. Um, Dr. McMahon is my surgeon, and I am hoping, fingers crossed, to have the surgery on December 23rd. I'm a teacher, and that is my winter Christmas break, and um, I really think that it would be the best time for me. So I hope they think so too. I have my first appointment with them on Wednesday. And it's coming up. So um, after Thanksgiving, I'll probably start my pre-op diet. So if anybody has any tips or tricks, anything that they know or can share, I'd love to hear it. Um, let's see what else. Um, okay, so now um, nine things that I'm not going to miss about being super morbidly obese. And um, I could think about a lot more, but these were the ones that just came to me. So number nine. Fat panties. Enough said. Eight. Dating or not. Seven. Um, opting out of things because I physically can't do them. Um, I do a lot of things with children, but I can't sit on the floor. Or I wanted to teach them about yoga poses, but I can't model them. And... Um, we, we, I just came back from a music conference and we were doing lots of dances and there was jumping and stuff like that and I, there was no way. Um, number six, um, only wearing flip-flops or shoes that slip on because I can't tie my shoes. Um, or it just takes about a good ten minutes. Or if not more. Um, number five. Being the largest person in the room, but also the most invisible. Um, I had somebody bump into me at the conference and say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. What? Because I'm really invisible. Yeah, didn't see me standing here in all my glory. Um, number four, um, I will not miss plus-size grandma stores. I am so excited to shop in regular stores, um, and if I actually ever see one more Christmas applique sweater as the new fashion at these stores, I'm going to just go ape shit. No. Applique sweaters, not okay. Um, number three, I am not going to miss elastic waistbands. Um... I haven't worn pants with belt loops in about 20 years, so I'm very excited about that. Um, two, I'm not going to miss um, going on a walk, like a tour, when you're touring around the city and taking a photo op on the walk because you can't continue anymore and it's an excuse to stop and catch your breath. Um, and then number one just happened uh, again, and it's... Um, Number one, I will not miss airplane seatbelt extenders. Um, I just came back from Denver, like I said, and um, there. usually I ask um, if there's any space available, like if there's two seats right next to each other. And usually they're pretty accommodating. The airlines will try to do whatever it takes. And so um, this time they said, 
I forgot to ask them that. And so they gave me a ticket and then I went back to the counter and I said, um, is there a space, right? Is there a seat right next to it that's open? And she said, no, but you can move into the emergency exit row. And I was like, pretty sure I can't. But I said, does the arm, do the arms lift up on the air, airline? And she said, yeah, yeah, they do. And I said, and you're sure it's okay? And she said, yeah, I'll put you there. And I was like, this doesn't sound right. So I should have spoken up at that point, but I didn't. I thought she knew what she was talking about. But again, she didn't. So I get on the airplane, and I'm um, going to the exit row, and the arms do come up, and there's tons of room, and I'm like, oh, this is sweet. Well, I was one of the first ones to board because they give priority seating to, like, the people who are in exit rows and mothers and children and all of that. So the stewardesses had been walking back and forth on the airplane this whole time and didn't say a word. So the airplane kept getting fuller and fuller, and um, it was full. The, the, the cabin doors were closing, and then she chose to come over and tell me that I couldn't sit there in front of everybody, like a, a full plane. And I said, okay. Um, actually, I didn't say okay. I said I didn't choose to sit here. I was placed here. And she said that the reason why I couldn't is because they didn't – give seatbelt extenders to the emergency rows. Like, you had to just have the seatbelt. And I said, well, I didn't choose to sit here. So then she proceeded to loudly ask anybody if they would mind switching seats with me if they had an extra seat next to them. And I was mortified. Like, I just... This stuff has happened to me so many times, and I just kept thinking, this will be the last time. This is the last time this is ever going to happen. And so, anyway, yeah. Um, so it ended up being fine, but stuff like that I'm never going to miss again. Like, ever. Um, and I didn't mean to cry, but it's an emotional thing. And I'm so done with feeling this way. And I'm so excited to move on in my journey. Um, and the first time I fit in an airplane seat with a seatbelt, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to lose my shit and people are going to be like, what's wrong with you? But um, they're not going to get it. Um, they're not going to understand. So that's why I'm saying it right now. Because I think that... Sorry. I think that somebody out there might understand in this community. So, thank you for that. Um, oh, my God. Okay, I guess that hit me deeper than I really thought. Um, okay, enough about that. <sighs> um, so, that is my update and the things that I'm not going to miss about being super morbidly obese. Um and I appreciate all of you, and I hope that you are having a great week. Um, I really look forward to all of your videos. Um, yeah. Okay. Bye. I have to beg, plead for your sympathy. I don't mind, cause you mean that much to me.